And Meg Matthews is one of the campaigners on menopause. She's been talking about it for a long time. And what she's done for us, she's done this amazing interview uh, with her daughter, Anais, and they are very honest about how they have both been feeling. So, you know, I've been going through the menopause for about the last few years. Yes. How have you been finding it? I mean, recently it's been all right. I think you've sort of... Maybe come through the other side? You're a lot more calm than... But it's definitely at the beginning, it was really, you were really stressed out and you were really stressful to be around. Yeah, and I think I was. You were very over-emotional. Yeah, I know. I mean, my anxiety was, like, through the roof. Yeah. And, yeah, and I would just watch something like EastEnders and I would burst into tears and you, you're not that sort of person at no, all. No, not at all. So with... And also, I... With your hormones kicking in, which you hated me saying... Oh. That was your pet hate. Yeah, it was. I did find, like, you know, little things would really wind me up. So, like, you know, your room... Too. I always had a thing about your room is never tidy. Yeah. But looking back on it, it was all stuff that was really going on with me. I would look for anything. I've always been a really fussy eater. Yeah, thank you. And you knew that I like fish pie, and in your weirdly messed up menopausal brain, you were like, she likes fish pie, let me buy a fish pie for every night of the week. <laughs> so then you bought seven fish pies, <laughs> and I opened the fridge, and I was like, why are there so many fish pies? And then you just started crying. And I started crying, so that, I know. Also, like, quite, it, you need to tell your children about it, because if you don't know about the menopause, you'll just think that they're having a mental breakdown. But when I found out that it was medical, then I wasn't that concerned. But you're, um, you know, you're very grown up for your age, I must say. Yeah, I think very so. Very mature, and, and we can talk about everything. Yeah. So, I, um, so it was pretty easy for us, I think. I know you're in your own head when you're going through the menopause and you can't really think about the bigger picture, but, like, at the yeah. end of the day, however much you're stressed out and you think that, you know, poor me... Yeah. Your number one job and priority is to be a mother. The thing is, I don't think any mums actually do that. They still get on with their life. Yeah, that's what I'm but, saying. You but just your gotta... head and everything is so difficult. But and also, so hard. like having, I don't know, from my point of view, it's like, you know, be as a teenager, it's like, or a kid, just be understanding. Don't take the situation too seriously. Be lighthearted. Help them to like have fun. Just talk. Yeah, it's all about talking and yeah. sharing and being that's honest. My main piece of advice is just talk. And sharing. Oh, no worries. Thank you. I love you lots. Love you too, Nene. Thank you to those two for being supremely honest. And I think there's so much um, we can learn, all of us, from that. Be understanding. I think that's really, really helpful. I want to talk to another mum and... A Melanie and her daughter Becky. Lovely to see you Hello, both. Thank morning. you so much. Um, <laughs> just tell us about um, menopause. How did it affect you? You had physical symptoms and psychological, did you? I it was in more hot flushes, really, that I suffered from. Mm. Um, I think I drove everybody daft, having to stand outside. Um, just, I just couldn't cut windows open. Didn't want the wood burner on, all sorts of things. It was, it was really... Um, yes, I'm, I'm glad that it was all of over yes I, it could have been worse right um, but yes but unfortunately now she'll be going through it again yes explain us a, a little bit about that because you've been through once and now what's yeah. happened to you um well unfortunately i was diagnosed with breast cancer uh, at the beginning of this year and then i had to have an operation obviously to remove that but i've now got to take tablets for the next five years mm. um which stops all the estrogen which will again now sort of put me back into the menopause um so i'll get all the hot flushes the aching joints um or possibility of osteoporosis um so really um i just i've just got to go through it and i've wow. got to suffer it and everybody around me's got to have the windows open and the doors open and um and i just can't wait now to be able to get back into the cold water swimming so that i right. can enjoy myself and and actually sort of try and try and let it all go your sense that it's not you know we might all be going through it but it causes ripples in families, doesn't it? Oh, it does, yes. So, um, how are you, you've, you've seen her going through this once, how do you prepare now again? Um, I don't really. <laughs> um, she just has the windows open, mm. she, we'll just put her outside <laughs> in the cold weather. And yeah, just 
basically we just have to deal with it really don't we yeah the doors were open last night weren't they <laughs> yeah yeah and um, what struck me about this i've learned so much and um, personally this week for example you mentioned a few of the symptoms there i think uh, there are so many questions and there's so much you know i, I was really ignorant i thought this wouldn't happen till i was 55 for example you, you you mentioned you know there are so many different things that can happen to you oh yes i mean mine started really i was quite early with mine um mm. it was and unfortunately i lost my father um to esophageal cancer and that was actually what started or sparked my my menopause um it all kicked in d during that with whether it started with stress i don't know but yeah. that was that was how it all kicked in originally um, i've um, started doing i've mentioned earlier um, i've started doing menopause bingo with my friends because there are 34 different symptoms <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually quite fun uh, to go through them and tick them off but listen thank you so very much and i know that the cold water as you say is cold water swimming really helps you um we'd love to know from you as well what makes you feel better and again from families uh, what is it that you can do to help Help us and what is it we can do to help you as well and we're here throughout the morning we've also got the listening project here I don't know if you listen to that on Radio 4 but Annabelle for example uh, the girl we we're speaking to a little bit earlier who has early menopause is going to be talking in there and those conversations will be recorded for posterity and put in the British Library lots of amazing things happening during this conversation and um, we'll have more particularly on men um, how they can support us how perhaps we can support them as well coming up later in the program